very warm and pleasant good morning to all of you my dear students in today's tutorial we are going to discuss about states of matter as you know that's all matter around us exist in all the three states these states are solid liquid and gas did you notice Sometimes the same matter can exist in three different states. For example, water. Water exists in all the three states. In the form of ice, it exists in solid state. And in the form of water, liquid water, it exists in a liquid state. And if we we'll, uh, heat up that water, it exists in gaseous state in the form of vapors and steam it means matter exists in all the three states and some matters like water exist in all the three states all these three states of matter are interconvertible means that water uh, changes to by changing the temperature of the water, it changes to a steam or a gas. And by cooling that uh, gas and by the condensation of that water vapors, it again converted into a water vapors. And then these water vapors cool down and converted into a liquid water. And then... Uh, if we'll freeze that water that again get converted into a solid ice. So it means all these three states are interconvertible. Do you know uh, that matter is made up of a tiny particles called atoms. So atom is uh, a building block of matter. No, all the matters are made up of a tiny particle that is known as atom. And these tiny particles, sometimes we are naked. We can see that tiny particles with naked eyes. But sometimes we are not even able to see these particles with the naked eye. As you see in the figure that an atom... When two atoms join together, they form a molecule. So, uh, like these uh, number of molecules jointed together to form a matter. Right? So, look at this picture. This is a molecular arrangement in solids. Right? These are the atoms and the, uh, they are very closely arranged with each other and this type of arrangement we can see in case of solids and this is the arrangement of molecules in liquid so in case of liquids the atoms or the molecules of liquid is loosely arranged and in case of the gases these molecules are very far away from each other and there is a no intermolecular interaction is there and this is the reason gases are freely flow. But the solids are having a uh, fixed shape due to their intermolecular attraction. And these molecules are very closely packed. This is the reason solids are having a fixed shape. In case of liquids, liquids can flow because their, uh, the intermolecular spaces between uh, their atoms or molecules are uh, not so uh, close, right? That's why liquids can also flow. But in case of gases, gases are free flow because their intermolecular attraction is very less and the molecules of uh, gases are loosely packed. Thank you and have a nice day all.